Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna do a little vlog. Um, I just had some gravel delivered. We are we had some work done outside in the removing some brush and just getting some stuff cleaned up uh, that we wanted to clear out some areas so I can show you that. But we have some gravel delivered for in front of our barn area that we that used to be a drive but is not anymore. But we wanted to get some like limestone stuff that compacts that's gonna help control some of those weeds that we do get back there we'll spray and everything first before we spray the gravel out but we just got that delivered i'm going to show you the tomatoes the tomatoes are look i didn't think they were going to make it i thought we because we bought some extra tomatoes at lowe's because i didn't think the ones that i had started inside were going to make it you couldn't even see them on camera when i posted before but they are thriving they look wonderful so i'll let you guys see an update on the garden as well so let's uh, come and enjoy and spend the day with me and I'll see you in the next clip. So I'm trying to show you the gravel here, but apparently I didn't lift my camera up far enough so you could see it. So unfortunately you can't see it. There's a, there's a pile of gravel in front of the car. Um, so you're not really missing much, but um, yeah. So there's just a pile of gravel there. And then on the left-hand side, um, there's just like where we tore out some weeds or we had some weeds tore out. But anyway, sorry about that. Um, but you get to see the stink bug, so yay. <laughs> good with this area and then get that garage cleaned out there's just random stuff in there and then there's the garden beds so I'll show you the tomatoes you can probably kind of see them from here they're in the right bed right there in the front with the marigolds but yeah we have to run to Lowe's right now to get some stain for our deck around our pool unfortunately we got a stain that was too light and it just doesn't look good so i'm gonna have to get more stain so that's where we're headed now so we're back from lowe's and i'm gonna get my son some lunch together i'm making him a grilled cheese and then i'm gonna cut up this watermelon um, and see hopefully it's good but we'll see i'm gonna get that cut up and then give him his lunch and then he'll take a nap and then i'll get out and try to show you what the garden's looking like I'll just cut it open it actually looks really really great so Hopefully it tastes good. So yes, it tastes outstanding. I'm gonna finish getting it cut up. And then he, uh, I'm gonna give some for my, to my son for lunch as well. It's just half of it cut up. I'm gonna have to get another container for the other half. But I may send the other half over with my neighbor actually, cause I don't want it to go bad. I don't want it to go to waste. And I feel like that is a ton of watermelon. So it looks wonderful. I'm so excited. I don't know if it's because it's the first one of the summer and like, you know, Summertime, watermelon, I don't know, but it's it's delicious. Throw some sourdough bread in the oven real quick and then we'll run outside and take a look at the garden. Here's the little garden that's up by my house. So I have some cabbage over here and it's starting to, you can see that some bugs are getting to it and I don't like to put anything on my garden and same with the lettuce down here. But I might have to put that organic DE on this here. So I used to use the sieve and dust and that works well. Um, I've used that years ago, but I'm, I was hoping to get away from that and do a more organic approach, but it looks like that's not gonna happen if I wanna have any vegetables this year. So just what it's gonna have to be, but that is an organic uh, the DE is an organic item for your garden. So I think I might have to try it. I did buy some because of that. Because these here, I put two down here. And they have ate every bit of the leaves off. I do have some strawberries back here. I need to go through and weed, weed this. I unfortunately hurt my ankle pretty bad a couple weeks ago. And it's just now feeling pretty good now. I had a severe sprain. So I'm still on a crutch, but I'm able to move about much better now. But I do have, it looks like I have a strawberry ready there. But that back there is weeds. <laughs> like I said, I need to weed that back there. But these here, I can get, get a couple strawberries off of there. We just had a rain come through also. But <clears throat> I bought some, let's see. I bought some of these like baskets for the strawberries to sit on because the ones that are the ones that don't touch the ground seem to be fine. They're not I mean I know the birds are getting a couple here and there, 
but the ones that aren't touching the ground seem to be okay and the ones that are on the ground are getting some bites in them and I, I don't I've lost probably about half of what's been produced it's not a lot but it's enough for you know for us here and I know it'll produce more as time goes on too I've only had them for this is the second year so this is the this is the only time we've really gotten a harvest of any kind off of them so it's pretty exciting but I want to prevent prevent that uh, for the rest from the rest of them for I want to prevent the rest of them from getting eaten so that's the plan all right here we are so onions are looking good these were the red onions they've been taking a little longer to come up I didn't know if they would but I mean they, they're looking good so far like these down here these are regular yellow onions you can tell and then look at my tomato plants these seriously I really I did not think because if you go back and look at my video I one of my I don't even know which one it was for sure um it's probably titled about raised garden garden beds but you couldn't even see them on the video they were so small and now they are thriving and they're looking wonderful. So the extra tomato plants that we got, we put in the grow bags over here. So I have a couple up there and then there's a couple on the other side I'll show you too. Because I really thought I would have, that I was gonna have to replace all these, but luckily they are thriving. They look wonderful. I'm super excited. I started these from seed, so it's a nice feeling uh, whenever you, whenever you can do that so i harvested this lettuce this is romaine and it says that you know once you harvest it you can only do like one harvest but if you cut it a certain way like because i didn't cut all the way down i only cut like like to right here and so once you cut it down to a certain point it will grow back so you don't have to pull it out so it looks like you can harvest these three or four times throughout the year this one's a little slow to come back but I think it's because I cut it too far down but it's coming back just slowly so that's exciting and I have some corn here coming in I did plant some more corn because these the other I think the birds got the other seeds that we put out so I put put some more seed out for corn and then so I, there's a few weeds in here I need to pull out few weeds in here too not many but a couple there here and there and then let's see there's the other tomato plants that we had gotten here's the peas they're starting to bloom and they're looking great up here but down here they're starting to turn a little brown and I don't know why I'm hoping that I'm hoping that they're, I know they're getting enough water. So I'm hoping that it's just a thing that goes away and that they're okay. But they are blooming. They look wonderful up here and look like they're thriving. So hopefully that stays. And then here are my zinnias. I did put some of that DE on these because so you can see where they were getting eaten. And they're looking better. This is a weed back here. You can see those are looking better. And then there's my pepper plants. These are these out are the uh, bell peppers back here. And I'd put a small one here, like this is this little tiny one that I grew by from seed to. I feel like it it probably won't do anything, but you never know. I thought that about the tomato plants too, and they're they're looking good. But you can see these are starting to get some little buds on them a couple weeds in here these are my cucumbers those are looking good I'm hoping they'll vine up here I think these are pickling is what I put out so. and then these have just went wild these zucchini plants I put two and they are gigantic and the beans are kind of taking over too. <laughs> so I put DE on these as well. 
see how they do. Like I said, I was hoping to not have to, but you can see. But it isn't, like I said, it is organic. It's not ideal to have to use stuff, but if you're going to use something, I guess that's the best option. But you can see down in here, there are a ton of little sprouts coming on. In there. So that's exciting stuff. We'll get some zucchini soon, hopefully. And then here's some more tomato plants. And then some potatoes. So these I'm going to have to add some more dirt to because uh, they're starting to come up. Usually you have to mound them. So I added some dirt to them last week and then I'll need to add some more dirt now. So we should, we should be good there. But yeah, everything is looking good. I'm excited. It's kind of an overview there. So here's our deck and that is the the light color that we got for it, I just, I do not like it. Like, you can't even tell, like, you can't tell how ugly it is <laughs> on camera, but it is. It's just too light, so I went today and got a darker color. Everything's not set up yet, because we still have to open our pool, but everything's a little bit of a mess out here. Because we want to get it stained first before we open anything, so tomorrow, they're supposed to be coming back out to restain this a different color. So I'm back inside is like it's super hot out there especially after the rain just came through it's like muggy and sticky love it I'm not complaining I'm happy that it's summer but it's a little warm and I'm and like in the show you the deck like I'm not one to complain about colors or anything like that I'm just happy that it was stained it was like protected because there's a seal in there and stuff like that but when you walk on the deck the sun when the sun is out and it's beating down on it it's so bright if you don't have sunglasses on or something like that like you can't you can't hardly keep your eyes open so if that wouldn't have if that wouldn't have been the, the issue also i would have been fine with leaving it because i mean you can change the color and stain it it has to be done again anyway in probably a couple years so i was just going to leave it and because i mean we spent the money on it so uh, i don't like to waste stuff either so that kind of it bothers me a little bit but walking out there you just can't see i mean it's so bright so we had to unfortunately but good thing is is that when i went back today to get the stain they were having a sale so <clears throat> when we bought this the previous stain it was not sorry my dog is shaking um it was not on sale previously this time it was buy one get one 50 percent off through a mill through a rebate you can do online or whatever so if you have a Lowe's near you, check that out if you're needing stain or paint, because I think it was on the paint as well for a certain ounce, but it might have been the gallons as well. So if you need anything like that, check it out. But yeah, so I just filled out the form super easy um, online and they will send it in the mail. So at least we got a deal on that, but um, I'm going to end the video here. I just want to give you guys a quick garden update, show you the deck, um, show you like the, just the gravel little vlog. My son's down for a nap, so I'm going to get a couple things done around here, um, and that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.